While the technical feasibility for phase two expansion has been completed, the implementation is dependent upon resolution of outstanding issues with the government of Zimbabwe, including the latest indigenization statements. I hasten to add that we are not anti-indigenization and we do have plans in place to address the proposed legislation. However, we do seek additional clarity. As far as the indigenization legislation is concerned, I mean, quite clearly, this is not new. This has been around for some years. And if you remember, we did a, an agreement, a release of ground back in 2006. And the reason we did that was with this in mind, that we knew that this type of legislation was pending. Um, I think it's fair to say that the 51% that they've announced is sort of the overarching goal for all companies, and that we'll probably have a, a sector bill for, for each of the industry segments. In other words, mining will have a separate set of parameters uh, that could be different from the overarching 51%. Um, certainly our, our understanding is that we probably look at an equity participation somewhere between 15% and 26%, which is more or less in line with what we anticipated, and we are quite comfortable with that level of equity. The balance getting to 51% will be made up through other means. One of these means would be the release of ground, uh, which obviously we believe could have a fairly significant contribution to the credits that would make up that differential. The other would be things like spend on social spend, infrastructural spend, etc. And we believe that we have got a uh, percentage covered by those particular items as well. So I think what we require is, is some clarity on the issue and quite clearly we need to make sure one more time that the release of ground agreement that we have with government is as envisaged and is included in the in the legislation and the legislation is not particularly clear it doesn't say it's not included but on the other hand doesn't specifically make allowance for it it's our understanding that it will be taken into account but quite clearly whenever governments come out with this type of statement we need to just go and make sure one more time I think there are a number of, of other issues that quite clearly we would like to get some clarity on. Uh, one is obviously on the debt with the Reserve Bank um, of Zimbabwe. Um, for Zimplats, it's about 34 million US dollars. And quite clearly, we want to get some kind of view in terms of uh, acknowledgement of debt and then quite clearly some kind of repayment schedule over a period of time. But I think, I hasten to add, it's unrealistic to expect that that money will be paid within a short period of time. You've got an economy there that's battling and you've got a government that's... Uh, struggling to raise additional funds. Uh, but it is something that we want to work at, and then obviously clarity on the indigenization uh, process. So those are the factors. Uh, and quite clearly, we've given ourselves to uh, probably the next cycle of board meetings, which is May, to get those issues resolved.